Hi, welcome to this week's edition of Papa News in English. My name is Amanda Blackstone. The citizens of Papa turn away from politics, which is sad, said the local president of the MSDP party on his press conference. In Papa, a kind of disinterest emerges as far as the politics is concerned. From this fact, two types of possible conclusions can be made, according to Attila Grober, the party's local president. One could be that everything is all right and there are no problems with the self-government and with the town's current situation. While the other one is that nowadays people express their opinion through silence because they don't want to get involved in the political life. However, lately many people express their disagreement with the garage tax. This so-called garage tax is being paid by approximately 4,400 people in the town, which means 82 million forints income per year. At the moment, there are several debates about this tax. For example, what type of building is considered to be a garage, or if there's no car in the garage, is it still called a garage? According to Attila Grober, this debate could be easily solved. The garage tax should be excluded from next year's budget plan, or a referendum should take place so that people could decide if they want to support this type of tax or not. At the press conference, he also told the people that his party collects donations, toys, clothes, and food for charity until the 10th of December. The offered donations can be taken to the MSZP office on weekdays from 9.30 a.m. to 12 noon. It is the sixth occasion that the Thanksgiving Day is held by students from Tarse Leos Primary School. The students are from the bilingual classes of the school. Students presented its 400 years old history when English settlers came to North America in English and Hungarian languages. Every fourth Thursday in November, the bilingual classes of Tarse Leos Primary School hold a commemoration of Thanksgiving Day, said Mr. Tundi Hardy the leader of the bilingual classes. We think it is important because this celebration is part of the English American culture and for English learning students it is essential to know, especially for bilingual students. And this way children can learn everything about this occasion which has a great role in North America. We, want, we do not want to naturalize it in Hungary only to bring the American history closer to the children. Children presented what happened in the 1620s in a short theater play. Esther Sarwash, a student in a bilingual class of Tarshi Leosh Primary School said, I am someone who was on the Mayflower traveling to America in winter in bad weather and had to struggle for life. Unfortunately, a lot of people died, but, um, but fortunately, a lot of people made it. The settlers gave thanks that they found a new home. But nowadays, we can give thanks for lots of things, of course. We can give thanks for our family, for health, and for everything that we have, said Esther from the sixth class. The Thanksgiving Day is the second important celebration after Christmas in the USA. This day, all the families spend the day together and make a great feast. The main dishes are stuffed turkey, mashed potatoes, and pumpkin pie. On the evening of November 26, the employees in the public education were celebrated. This celebration was held at the Heoshegi Cultural Club. It is the newest community club of Papa. Some years ago, the town directors decided to find a day when all the people working in public education jobs can be celebrated. Mr. Thomas Aldozo, the mayor of Papa, says, All communities which are dealing with public education have a special day for celebrating. For people working in health, it is the Semmelweis Day. For teachers, it is the Educators Day, the 7th of June. And three years ago, we began thinking of making a celebration for people working in public education. For the last two years, it was in summer, and now we had it in November because this year was very busy. At the end, Dr. Odozo thanked the employees' hard work and progress with people working in local councils and their great cooperation with PAPA. Those present held a short commemoration for Mr. Luis Borbe, who was an art teacher and died this year. He was an excellent person who made a difference for Papa in its general and cultural education. 
In NATO news, a ratification of the status of forces agreement between NATO and Afghanistan. NATO now has the legal basis to go ahead with a non-combat role to train and assist the Afghan security forces. The new mission will be titled Resolute Support. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of the Papa News in English. We hope you join us again next week.